Hey folks, I'm joined with, by Ronnie today because he is super excited about his Hellboy dice game. Um, we're going to do a little uh, how to play video and before that he's going to do a little bit of an unboxing and show you exactly what you get in there. So, fire away. Alrighty, yes, well, with our Halloween theme, I, I feel underdressed now, I'm not going to come conditioner. <laughs> we have our Halloween, our Hellboy, the dice game. A lovely little game, carry it anywhere, take it with you, obviously it's in a box here, but you can actually stick it in a carry case. Um, rules, boy do we, I, even I can understand these rules. Oh, that's it. And what's lovely is within two minutes, and we're going to show you a turn in a second, um, you'll, you'll know them, you'll know how to play. You, you reference them for a couple of things, but it's a one page rule book, which is beautiful. It shows just what kind of playability it's got. You get... Uh, probably least interesting, the three wound markers, that's just to keep a count on your turn, you take it in turns and rotate. When you take three wounds, you're dead and it goes on to the next person. Or when you run out of dice. And your dice are your kind of assets and skills, so every time you take a turn, you're going to allocate some dice and you always roll the blue dice. You get a big, nice big pile of dice, really well made. Uh, the yellows, 50-50s, uh, orange, 60-40s, all the way up to black, which is the best dice. You'll find out more about those. All the dice you need, and then the fun. Hence the name, the dice game. Hence the dice. We should really be called the dice and card and game, card shouldn't game. it? But we've got <laughs> dice and cards because we couldn't decide whether to make a dice game or a card game. So we made both because hey, we're mantic here. And in your card deck, you get a, a few different types of of cards. You get the frogs, monsters, kind of. You get a clue. You've got what you've got to defeat. And you've got where you get your wounds from. They get tougher. So you get three clues, but you've got to get a higher score on your dice or does more wounds. You've got your burners where they're just irritating frog um, spawns, not spawns, spawns, yeah, bro swarms. Swarms, <laughs> as a word. You want to kill it and wound you, but you don't get any clues. And your clues are what you. Are aiming to get to win the game. Correct. Yep. The more you need to get to over 15 clues, mm -hmm. and when you get that, everyone gets one last turn, and you go. Clues up here, a couple more. This is Rasputin, so here he's coming up. He takes three to defeat, but he has a special rule on his card because he's a big boss body, mm -hmm. baddie boss, baddie, 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 baddie boss. Um, you know, there's the uh, Conqueror Worm, is it? I can't see it upside down, but there's a the Conqueror Worm. Yep. So there's your boss baddie stalks. And then finally, uh, you have event cards. These are where accidents happen or there's a hole in the floor and you fall through and you miss the next encounter and go onto the card after it. Uh, so, or, you know, what's that? Lucky find, you find a lucky clue here if you do something with some jeopardy. So nice different variety of things as they're all coming out. And it's a push your luck kind of game. So you take the cards, you play through them, you use your cards up. When your goes over, if you've been clever, you've banked your clues. Um, and if you haven't, you will... Um, you will um, lose them all, they're gone the discard pile, your score goes back to whatever it was at the start of your turn, and your opponent gets another go. So. And you can play with one, two, three, four, five, six. When you burn through the deck, you go again. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very risk and reward sort of game. Correct, a bunch of luck and good fun, and you can have jeopardies for you know, if you take a wound, take a drink, haha, <laughs> for example. So, stay watching. We are about to go into it. Johnny and I are going to go through a couple of turns and show you exactly how it works so you know how to play. But that is the quick Hellboy dice game and card game. Unboxing. Thanks. Okay, so we've gone through the um, the contents. We'll explain what everything is. So let's, with no further ado, Johnny, let's dive in and let's start your turn. Okay, doke. So turn over the top card. Okay, so what we've got here is clues. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want. Two, that's what you've got to defeat. And that's wounds. If you don't defeat it, that's the wounds you're going to take. Okay, look. So uh, you, what you do now is you always take the blue dice. Yep. And then you add up to three of these dice to go with it to ensure you get two or more. So it's going to hurt you a bit. It's not going to kill you. But you don't particularly want to take some, some chances with this one. And you want to get it killed and get it into your hand. Yep. So on that reasoning, I'm going to take two of those, but I'm also going to take one of those just to be on the safe side. That's very safe. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh. I'll give you a clue. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, 50, I think you'll, you'll easy either yeah. two yellow or, or yellow and orange. Yeah, there's, yeah go on then. I'll, I'll, I'll just do the two. Okay, plus the blue. Always take the blue. Oh. So I've taken a wound and 
Oh, and two Blankton. words. And there's, so, <laughs> Blue's let you down. We've got the absolute worst roll. You've got no damage on it. And you've taken yep. two wounds. So, so put two wounds out. This is absolutely shocking. So two and one, you're going to get annihilated. So much for beginner's luck. Yes. Sorry about that, Benny. I was, you, you were, <laughs> if you yellow, you knew yellow wouldn't have done it because there's only one on there. Yep. Now what happens at the end, whenever you use dice, they go to your player on the left who's going to go next to you. Okay. Yep. From your mm -hmm. right, depending on which way you're going around. So I'm going to take those. They're out now, your pile. You get the blue one back. Now, you really do have to kill it this time. Yep. <laughs> um, the only good news is uh, because you're going to waste all of these um, dice that you've got. Um, so make sure you put it down. Um, so pick again. I mean, I know that you were wrong, but you might just want to soup up because you really yeah, can't I'm have thinking, a mistake. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go okay. those two. Let's go. Just to be on the safe side. There Double we there. go. So now we've got the times two, which means any one dice can be doubled. Okay. So that would give you two. You've got one over, that's three. You that's need a two. So you get that one. Excellent. That one's yours, and we're going to carry on. These come to me, as I explained. Yep. So now I've got those dice. Now, the one that you have to remember, and I didn't think I was going to have to explain this rule until about four or five turns <laughs> further on, five of the cards further on. I know you're going to get pulverized by the first one. If you get your third wound and you've not banked, mm -hmm. then you lose everything that's in your hand oh. that's not banked. Okay. So... Because you're running risky, you've still got a lot of dice. Yep. So when you turn that card over, you've got to play it. Mm -hmm. But you just need to think that you need to be able to defeat whatever's coming. Yeah. So let's carry on going. At this point, you've got the best dice in the game. You've still got your blues mm -hmm. and you've got lots of reds to support. And it, but if I... have, at any point, you can say, I'm not turning that card over. I'm banking. Yep. And then they go into your hand and the deck and the dice come to me. Yeah, cool. And that's how I turn Gary's on. Okay, I'm going to risk... This one, because still got some decent oh, dice no. left. A couple more in this, yeah. Same okay. again. Wow, okay, so I didn't stack the deck very well there, did I? <laughs> um, so that is exactly the same. Yep. Let's see if we can do it. Cool. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go for a risky, just these. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Bless you, Blue. Now, the good news is you've got the re-roll here. So you're going to re-roll yep. any one of those? Just the one. The problem is... It still won't kill it. Yeah, I'm double check. Yeah, you're on one attack dice. Yeah. Yep. So, you're dead. Because go ahead, you can roll. And you get one. Hey. The good news is that one stays there for me to benefit from. Okay, that's yep. very kind of you. So, the turn now moves over to me. Yep. Uh, that's got one. That goes into the discard pile because you didn't bank it. Yep. That was rule 101 on what not to do. Correct. Okay, so uh, over to my turn. Johnny got utterly crushed and defeated by the frog monsters. And I'm squirming. Over to me. I've now got to put one more wound on this because you've done one. Yep, you're welcome. Um, thank you. No, very kind of you. <laughs> right, to re-roll, I'd, I'd, I'd have said not bother. Um, I don't want to be too cautious. So I don't want to start with some wounds. Why? I've got a great opportunity to get ahead here. So off we go. Bounced it out. <laughs> Crumbs. Now, the only good news is the blue dice there, that's one hit from the blue dice. So that plus the one that's already yep, on it means enough. I do get it. Good old trusty blue dice. Thank goodness for that. So we're up and running. Those go over to you. Yep. I've lost those now. Yeah, the dice aren't being kind to us today. No. Now, this is what I call a burner card. This is where the frog swarms are just overwhelming you. Mm -hmm. I've got to defeat it. It does no damage and it's worth no clues. It's going to be the discard pile. So... Um, uh, you can actually just burn the blue dice on these. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, of course, you can roll the thing. So I've got lots of yellows. So I'm going to chuck a yellow in. Yep. Let's get rid of it. I took Oof. a wound and I didn't get rid of it, you see. So that's the danger, and that's why I put the yellow in to yep. stop. Just in case. That happening, but it happened. But, um, okay, so you now get that. I don't think it's a bad strategy. It was just the dice gods are being cruel to me. And I'm going to do the same. <laughs> but thankfully, this time, the blue dice saved me. There's your one hit. Needs one to get rid of this fog swarm onto discard pile. Mm -hmm. There's no point keeping it because it's not worth any clues. Yep. Mm -hmm. To win the game, it's the first person that goes past 15, 15. clues. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then everybody gets one more turn until they've all had an equal number of turns. So, uh, right. A bit more interesting this one. Three clues, powerful card. Um, four to defeat it, one wound. Now, obviously, my disaster would be not killing it, rolling a Wound on here yep. and getting that one, that'll be three and I'll be out. I've not banked that, so I'll be gone. So I don't want to mess around. So 
Everyone always saves the black dice, don't save the black dice, get it out there, whack it in with a red and a yellow, there's up to three. I'm going to put this poor big bad boy down. Phew, totally <laughs> failed. So I took the wound, I took the second wound, I got the third wound, so I've got to two with the best set of dice and the thing is, no re-rolls. I'm out, that's out, we're back round because I haven't banked it. And over to you, Johnny. Does that one stay out for me to defeat? Of course it does. Yep. I'm just sulking and it's got two wounds on it. <laughs> so that's got two. So you need to put two on that and it becomes yep. yours. Right. So I'm going to go slightly more cautious and go these three. Okay. So Johnny's going three. It's going to take I say two slightly wounds. more cautious. It's, only, it's lost two wounds already. So. Uh, there you go. Fortunately, yeah, but two, I have taken two. Five. No. Because you defeated, yeah. no, you only take yeah, the one from the, the blue one. dice that always goes through. Mm -hmm. uh, but you now have that. Excellent. So put that there, it's not yet banked, so yep. you can still lose it. Pass me the non Rory the, dice. The and let's have this dice. Okay, two wounds, two clues, two wounds, two wounds. So a bit nasty, Yeah. not too hard to defeat, but you don't want to make any errors with it. Where you are, I can put you over. Okay, I'm going to go for... Now the dice gods haven't been good to us today, so no. I don't know whether to just go for yellows, but... Remember you've got yes. four in there, so that's worth yeah. keeping, so... Let's, let's go two yellows and an orange. Okay, and it's always the blue and up to three other dice, so you've taken it out, and there you Thankfully, go. Thankfully, the blue you, saved The blue saved everybody <laughs> so far, hasn't it? So these have been, the dice gods have been equally evil. Yep. One from there, two from that, three, defeated. Yep. Over it goes. Excellent. So now you're up to five. Yep. Down to become a decent score. I think That's... I might bank at that point. Don't be. Come on. That honestly, this could thing. Yeah, I okay. can pretty much defeat everything, unless you get very unlucky. You heard it. When I lose now, it's all I'll on his fault. the deck. <laughs> ah, exciting. Hole in the floor. So this is what's known when we've unpacked is an event card. So this isn't um, a, a, an encounter card. It's an event card. So activities happen. There's no dice rolling. So read that out, Johnny. That's that what it says. Lose a wound cube. Discard this card and the next one put in the card after that is in, uh, put that into play. Okay, so you've fallen through the floor. Instead of fighting the next encounter, which would have been three clues, three lots of tough rock monsters, they're both dead. And instead you're going to be fighting... Oh, there we are. Excellent. So, clue one, two wounds. Don't mm -hmm. only bite you, but you've got lots of yellows. You've got your blues. Yeah, let's go two yellows and a blue. Okay. Okay. Um, one, two, nice. three, cleared house, superb. Um, obviously, tough guys, tough players. We'll go one more because you've still got your black. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll go another one. Go one, let's see what happens. Aha, another event card. Take a risk. Discard your most powerful die, pass to the next player, gain one clue for this turn's current score. Retain this card as a reminder. So what can happen is you have to do this, so you're going to yep. have to pass me your best card, and that's where, you, unfortunately, it's always happened to the black dice, it always yep. happens. <laughs> um, and in doing so... I gain a clue. You gain a clue. Now, that doesn't look like a super strong hand. If you no. bring something meaty out, you've got six, seven up there. Yep. That's halfway to the 15 yep. you need. You've got two wounds. Yep, I think Dis I'm going to bank. Discretion, okay. So you pull those off and yep. bank. You pass these over to me. And I'm going to start again from mm -hmm. there. So now I'm going to pull this one out. And now we've got Rasputin. So this is one of the character cards. So this not only has clues, what you need to defeat it, mm -hmm. and wounds, it also has a special effect. Did you read us out the special effect? You must re-roll your highest scoring attack, uh, highest scoring attack die in each attack against this card. So that means if I go and roll my, you know, black dice here and I get a four, jog on, re-roll it to the way you go. So yep. I've got to be careful about what I pick here. I want to pick stuff that's going to damage it. One of those that could work in your favour, but often probably won't. <laughs> exactly. And so uh, I'm going to pick three dice. I've got to pick my thingy. I need to put it down. It's going to put a wound on me. I've got to play catch up as well, so I can't be two. So I'm going to get a red out there for sure. I'm going to get both reds so that if one of them comes in good, mm -hmm. I can uh, go there and my orange. Or should I just go straight for the black? 
you know what, let's get it out there. Because even if I have to re-roll it, I've got to get a three between all my other dice. It's the one you'd want to re-roll. Yeah. Oh. Oops, no blanks, I might shut that out. So three, I'll be re-rolling that, but I've got two times two. Mm -hmm. So even when I re-roll that, if I can actually roll it in the dice tray, two, I've still got two by two, yep. two by two. I've comfortably oh. defeated it. You could have seen how I actually could have killed something with six on that. Mm -hmm. But I need to play catch up. I can't mess around, so let's get going. And okay, now we've got a burner. I can't get any clues from it, mm -hmm. but it does a bit of wounds. So you can't be quite as cavalier with this one as you are with the others. Yeah. But I have no wounds at the moment. And oh. now, now I have two. <laughs> so there we are. I'm going to pass those over. I'm going to have to defeat this because I don't know what in earth is going on. And if uh, there we go, yeah, we go. I've got 57 million. <laughs> that goes in the discard pile because there's no clue on it. And I'm going to chuck my dice down one more time because I'm playing catch up. And I've got one wound, one, one. So it's do or die. I'm going to do that and I'm going to turn over one more card. Two blanks. Thankfully, I've got my reroll. So, and there we are. I'm utterly defeated. I'm utterly dead. I don't think there's much chance of me catching you. <laughs> so, I think um, normally, obviously, we play on the bitter end because you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I think what we've given there is a great view for everybody to see how easy it is to play. All the rules are on the cards. Mm -hmm. You need to get to 15, which we're probably going to do. I'll get one more turn. I'll die instantly. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll have saved everybody a few minutes of viewing. But that is the Hellboy Dice game. I think in terms of carrying it around with you in your bags when you finish tournamenting for the day or you've come in from school or work and you want to play a game with the, the family uh, or while you're waiting. It's just ideal, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I, I love uh, small, easy to carry around card games. I think they're the great like party starters and that sort of thing. You know, when you've only got a few minutes rather than uh, several hours. Yeah. Lots, lots of fun. Yeah. It's definitely not a drinking game. You definitely can't <laughs> do a drinking games with this. You definitely can't for each wound you take or for anything like that. We definitely would not condone that in any Absolutely way, shape not, or no. form. So it's definitely not. <laughs> Hellboy Dice drinking game. It's definitely the dice game. They are in store in retail and on our website right now. So jump on in there. I love it. It's my favourite, favourite game at the moment. And um, I'm sure everyone else is too. Excellent. Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny.